Hello and welcome back to my series Chop to the Top where I'm trading my way up from a cheap car to a supercar. Last time you saw me dealing with the 8th car in the series so far, a 2014 Ford Focus ST. The Focus was a beautiful example and sold for £10,500. Combined with the remaining unspent kitty that meant I moved forward with a budget of £12,166 to buy and prepare the next car in the series. So let's take a look at what I've bought. So here it is, car number nine in my Chop to the Top series, where I'm trading my way up from a cheap car to a supercar. And this, for me, is a really big deal. This is a personal dream car of mine. This is a 2006 Toyota Land Cruiser Amazon. So, king of the road as far as Toyotas go. And uh, I am so, so pleased to have it here. This is one of the later ones. This, uh, this particular shape, the 100 series, ran until, I believe, 2007. So this one being a 2006 is quite a late one in the run. And to that end, there's some pretty cool toys on it for, for the year. I'll show you those in a minute. I just want to give you a quick walk around to the outside and explain what I've bought and what it needs. So straight off the bat, as I've said, this is a 2006. It has done 180,000 miles. Now, to a lesser vehicle, 180,000 miles might seem like a lot. But if you know Land Cruisers, you will already know 180,000 miles of one of these is absolutely nothing. I've seen them do well, well in excess of quarter of a million miles. 
sometimes even over 300,000 miles and they're still going strong. If you look after these things, they will look after you. What a beautiful truck as well. I know some of you watching this who aren't familiar with them might think, mm, it's not that beautiful. To me, it is gorgeous. As you know, I have a bit of a history of Toyota. You've seen the pickup trucks I've done. There's one of them now. They're very utilitarian. The beauty of the Land Cruiser is just how refined it is. I mean, you can probably tell my voice how excited I am to have this one here. I am absolutely chuffed to pieces to have this here. Now this is a 4.2 diesel, so it's a straight six. Again, in my opinion, it's the one to have. What an amazing vehicle. I'll take you around the outside briefly and show you what I'm gonna to do to add value on this one and make it nicer than it is right now. Doesn't look too bad from where we're standing at the minute, but I'll show you the details as we go around. First up, those wheels. They've seen better days. There's a bit of corrosion going on to be expected on a car of the age. I really like the style of the wheels, so I'm gonna keep them, but I'm gonna send these out to be shot blasted, powder coated, and nice bright silver, just help lift the look of the thing. The tires that are on the wheels, they're a full matching set of Dunlops, and I'm really happy with them, they're in great condition, so the tires will be staying. The company that are gonna do the wheels are able to take the tires off, do their refurb and refit the tires, so that's no problem, that's easy. You can see on each of the bumper corners, there is a little bit of damage. I mean, it's a big old barge in this vehicle and over the course of its life, someone has been a little bit unkind to it when, when parking and, and as such, both front and rear bumper are showing their age a little bit. They are gonna be coming off and getting fixed and resprayed properly because this thing has to look, has to look every inch the king of the road that it is. There's a small bit of damage on this arch now you can see from this angle it's not just scuffed it's slightly pushed in i'm thinking to make that look as good as it can i'm not just going to sort the paint out i want to see if i can get a paintless dent removal specialist to come and have a look at that i don't really want those dents left there because it's it kind of ruins the the line of the vehicle i'll have to have a word with someone and see if that's something they can do other than that the body is really quite straight there isn't too much else that the pdr guy will have to do more external issues on that front grill it looks as if it's a chrome plated grill that started to peel well actually the exterior of it is chrome but these inner slats are painted in a sort of satin silver over the chrome now stone chips and things like that over the years have started to take that finish off so that grill needs to be refinished and made to look new again staying at the front you can see that one of the fog lights is absolutely perfect the other one is quite yellow and full of road dirt i suppose that will be getting changed so we're looking at a little bit of bodywork. Have to get a specialist in to do the dent removals. Change the lights. Oh, we're also missing, talking about lights, one of the headlight washer covers. So the washer is there, but the cover is not. No problem. I've actually already got one of those from Toyota. Uh, that was a special order, but it's here. The same goes for this tailgate. There's a lock on the tailgate and there's a little chrome shroud that should be around there. That's missing. Again, Toyota order, I've got that here. That's ready to go. Now the keen eyed amongst you might notice this vehicle, unlike many Amazons, doesn't have a tow bar on it. Which for me, I think that's uh, great news because it shows that this vehicle hasn't worked its whole life. It hasn't had a very hard life. I think, I'm not sure about this because I bought this vehicle through the trade, but I believe this has more or less been used as a big comfortable bus. And looking at some of the stickers on the windscreen, etc., and on the back, I think this has been used to go uh, abroad probably mainland on europe to ski trips or something like that which would explain road salt damaging the the wheels etc uh, lack of tow bar that's just a theory but that's that's what i'm working with um so the lack of tow bar i think that's uh that's a good thing anyone who buys this vehicle may well want to fit one but i'm not going to preempt that i'm gonna i'm gonna wait and see what happens i'm not going to fit one so it'll be sold without so let's take you inside and show you what we're working with here because the inside of this vehicle is really really impressive now i'll remind you this is a 2006 vehicle this was the absolute top of the line of that year now someone whoever bought this vehicle new ticked every box quite literally so you've got that screen there is um, satellite navigation um, infotainment everything but it is touch screen which is mad for a 2006 it's got the fake wood trim everywhere um i know some people really don't like that i think it's massively cool especially for a car like this uh, the sunroof that all works it's totally dry doesn't leak at all that's really really good news inside this compartment here it gets more old school 
not only do we have a multi-disc CD player, we have a DVD player as well. Now, the reason for that is if I take you around the back, this has got the Toyota ICE system. So we've got screens in the headrests and we have some very old school looking connections in this unit here, but looking at the paperwork from when this vehicle was new, that was a 2,100 pound option in 2006. So as I say, whoever spec this vehicle didn't skimp on anything. It's as far as I'm aware, it's got everything that you could have had. If I show you the inside of the rear, and obviously these Land Cruisers will comfortably carry seven adults. There's loads of space back here, but this one has obviously been used to carry someone's gear. So the sixth and seventh seats currently aren't fitted. They've just been chucked into there included with the vehicle. I need to refit those. I also got a nice load liner with the vehicle. Um, obviously that'll have to come out when I fit these seats because I want this to be factory spec. I'll include the load liner and the luggage cover that's not a problem but i do want these seats to be fitted properly because we've got seat belts to go through the mot it needs to have the seats fitted so that's something else i'll do not a problem so the overriding theme of the interior of this land cruiser is that it's in phenomenally good condition for a 180,000 mile vehicle if you look at the bolster of the driver's seat there's no damage to speak of admittedly the leather could do with a bit of a clean and a, a bit of hide food but there's no, there's no rips, there's no cigarette burns. It doesn't smell bad in here. It smells perfectly acceptable. We've got um, the original Amazon overmats. Obviously, they need to come out. The carpet's gonna get a proper, proper deep clean because it's very deep pile carpet and you can see it's, it's picked up some dirt over the years. That's absolutely fine. I can sort all of that. I've got a new set of overmats coming for it. Just look at this. I just, I love, I just absolutely love for a 2006 vehicle how premium this thing feels it's just such a lovely vehicle automatic wipers automatic lights it's just absolutely phenomenal it's got tinted windows in the rear i'll be honest um not really my cup of tea but i'm going to leave them uh because i believe the next buyer may may like that um if they don't they the tints will peel out nice and easily but uh just to air on the side of caution i'm going to leave those in there so so you might be wondering how did I land a Toyota Amazon with seemingly not much wrong with it for the budget that is allowed in this episode, which is a little bit over £12,000. Well, to be honest, I'm as shocked as you. <laughs> I will reveal all figures in a later episode, as I always do. But this has definitely come within budget. There's not a huge amount to do to it. Yes, cosmetically, there's a few jobs. But really, there's the suspension works. It's all got air suspension. I think that all works absolutely perfectly. It drives absolutely beautifully. Can't fault it in any single way. I get asked quite often, what do I do about mechanical work? Because I often don't show myself doing jobs like that. Well, the reason is I'm no mechanic. So anything that needs to be done mechanically, I will send vehicles out to an independent garage. Yes, I pay normal rates for that, but I believe certain jobs have to be done by specialist trades. So the cam belt on this vehicle, I will be getting that done. I won't be doing it myself, so you probably won't see it on camera, but it will be getting done. So there it is, car number nine in my Chop to the Top series. And as you probably can tell, I'm really, really pleased to have this one in stock. And I just know that when it's finished, this is definitely gonna be one of those ones that I want to keep for myself. But of course I won't be keeping it because this is Chop to the Top and it has to go to fund the next car, cars, plural, so I can uh, work my way up to that supercar. But let me know down below, what you think of this purchase. Do you think it's a good move? What do you think of the Amazon? Are you even aware of it? And uh, hopefully, if you're one of my Australian viewers, this will uh, go some way to making it up to you for the time I, I swapped the Hilux for a Land Rover. I'm, I'm sorry about that, guys. Hopefully, hopefully now I've got an Amazon and I'm gonna bring it back to its former glory, you can, you can forgive me a little bit. So until next time, guys, cheers.